Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. Now, as you can see in front of you, a very odd looking array of ingredients. Well, one thing, as you can see, I got me a puff ball. Now, a puff ball, they grow wild, and if you don't know, they are a bit like me. They are part of the fun guy family. Now, Coops found me this puff ball. He said, hey, oh, mate, I got a puff ball for you, and I'm thinking, what can you do? with a puff ball. So I thought, right, I got a lovely bit of loin of venison or venison backstrap and I'm thinking if I can butterfly that out, make it quite long and make a mushroom duck sow using the puff ball, a bit like a venison wellington, and then put it in to the loin fillet, roll it like a Swiss roll, wrap it in some prosciutto, and maybe, maybe in a bit of puff pastry, we may be on to a winner. So, I'm gonna get the camera down on the board. First thing we're gonna do is chop up the puff ball. How many times have I said puff ball? And then we will start making our duck sows with our onions. Right, let's do this. So basically then, like a classic mushroom duck sow, we want to just dice our oh, puff ball, <laughs> that was close, look at that, look, imagine that just fried in a pan, now I shall trim off all the funk around the edges, it's an odd looking thing, what's it smell like, oh, mushroomy, look at that, how satisfying is that, look, peels off, Always learning, always learning, he says. Beautiful. So nice and fine then. Easy as, as easy does. And what I'll do is I'll go over and just give it a bit of a battering. So a good glug of cold press British rapeseed oil, and then I'm gonna put in some butter. We all know mushrooms love butter. So into that then, our diced onion. Now we don't wanna brown this, we just want to make it so it's translucent, so nice and steady. So my onions are looking tip top in with this funky fungi. Get that in there as well. We want to cook this now for about four or five minutes. If you've got some garlic, you could always put some garlic in there as well. And if you're not too sure about the puff ball styly, you could just use obviously normal mushrooms or half and half, you know but we just want to cook this out a little. Might add just a spot more oil in there. I'm gonna add a little pinch of sage. And then just let it do its thing. What's it smell like now? Mushroomy. It's mushrooms, man. So I'm going to add in just some normal mushrooms as well, just to give it a bit more of a kick. And then to send it completely over the edge, turbo charged mushroom. Couple of teaspoons, tablespoons. Get that in. Just gonna season that up with a bit of pepper. What we're trying to do then is cook the moisture out of these mushrooms. As you can see, there's quite a bit left. We want a nice dry mixture. Just season it with season it with a bit of salt. And as soon as that is nice and dry, we will take that off and cool it down. Not 
looking too bad. Oh, look at it. So there we have our very simple puff ball duck sow. So I want to take that off, get it into a bowl, let it cool down so we can spread it. And in the meantime, we'll prepare that beautiful piece of venison loin fillet. So with this lovely venison fillet then, we just want to butterfly it. Just taking your time. Keep it nice and even. We don't want to go through. Okay then, so I'm just gonna season just lightly that butterflied venison loin. Just like that. Then we will get our mushroom on. Now we don't want too much of a layer, but we do want it everywhere. Very dainty. Smells so mushroomy. That mushroom ketchup is really, really coming through. Just get a bit, use my fingers. Don't worry, I know where I've been. Now you will get a bit of seepage as you roll it up. But, a ho. So, we're going to go like that. And like that. And basically, we are left with that beautiful thing. Bit of stray silver skin, get rid of that. So what I wanna do then is add a, just a little bit of color to this. Now what I'm wary of is it contorting and opening. So I'm just, I've warmed the oil up and I'm just placing it in. You know, we don't want too fierce a heat so it opens up. Now you're thinking, why have I done it now? Well, if we did it as a flat piece, we would have had trouble rolling it if we'd have added colour beforehand. So we're just going to take our time. I warm the oil up, just put it in there. I'm just going to keep an eye on it. Not too high now, just to get a nice seal on it. So I'm really not going to take it any further than that. I mean, if you've got a couple of strings, you could put round it, but I'm happy with that. We just want to retain that shape, just put a little bit of colour on, just start caramelising those natural sugars. All adds to the flavour. So, I'm going to place that on our prosciutto and just gently, gently start rolling it. Ah, look at that. Look at that. I'm not worried about those ends at the moment, I'll sort those out. I just want to get that shape. So there's that lovely stuffed venison loin in a duvet of prosciutto. Now let's get it wrapped up into some puff pastry. Okay then, so I'm gonna put it about there and then just, just, I'll get an egg wash down that one side. If I can maneuver it, it doesn't like these lights, just like that, just need to sort these ends out. Okay then, so I've gone proper rustic styly on the end, because what we'll do, we'll trim that off when we cut into it. What I need to do then, is give that an egg wash, and get it in the oven. Fingers crossed, I've never made this before. Not looking too shabby, is it? So I cooked that in the oven then, 200 degrees for 30 minutes. Now we're gonna have a look inside the moment of truth. Okay then, do I think that's a success? To be honest, no, I think it's slightly overcooked. The trouble here is that obviously the pastry takes longer to cook than the venison. I don't know how we're gonna get round that to be quite honest with you. Obviously, because we've batted out 
that loin and made it thinner. It's cooking really, really quick. But, you know, it looks good. That's the main thing. And of course, I've got to try a bit. Got to try a bit of this. Well, it tastes bloody lovely. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, that's beautiful. But, venison for me, just a little bit overcooked. But hey ho, I've never cooked this before. So next time, I will know. Hey ho. So if you like what you've seen here today on the SRP, please click subscribe when my face comes up down here. Also find me on my social media, two pages on Facebook, Scott Ree and the Scott Ree Project. Get on there, click like and follow. Also on my Twitter at the Scott Ree Project. My Instagram, get over to Instagram. I put loads of stuff on there at Scott Ree Project. And also find me on my Patreon page if you want to share the love. So until next time, if you make this, don't cook it for so long. Thank you, my friends. Take care. See you soon. I've got to get some of this down my neck.